hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is amazing joy follow more in today's video i'll be showing you how to dye a faded jean the nigerian style the first thing i'm going to need is the caustic soda the dye color of your choice and hydrogen sulfate okay all of these are in the powder form and the next step is to pour in a kettle of hot water when i say hot i mean steaming hot pour in a kettle of hot water into a bucket or a big bowl okay if you're doing this for the first time i'll advise you use a big bowl okay just to ensure that you have enough space or room to work with and you do not get your clothes messed up the next thing you're going to do here is pour in the dye color of your choice into the hot water after pouring the dye color you pour in your caustic soda here i'm using two third of the caustic soda powder and pouring it into the hot water thereafter i'm going to pour in the hydrogen sulfate powder into this solution all right guys i am done pouring the powder into the solution and the next thing i'm going to do is stir it very well okay guys i'll advise you use a wood to do this i don't have a wood that's why i'm using this rubber hanger for this so make sure you stir it well and then you insert your faded gene into the solution all right guys when i when i am done inserting it i'm going to leave the gene in the solution for an hour but in between that one hour i'll be coming every 10 minutes to use the stick to keep turning the gene to ensure that every part of the gene is completely submerged in the solution okay so guys i'm inserting it right now i'm making sure that every part of the gene is completely immersed in the solution you do not want to leave any part sticking out because it will cause the gene to have an even color and you really do not want that except you do want that <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave it and come back to check after 10 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm back to check it again and I'm turning it. I'm turning it just to ensure that every part of the gene gets into the solution and thereafter i'm going to rinse it out all right guys i've pulled out the gene from the dye solution and i've inserted it in a bucket of cold water just to rinse out the excess dye from the gene thereafter i'll take it to a dry please guys take note never use sun dry your dyed gene okay never use sun dry it make sure you air dry it because it keeps the color intact but if you dry it under the sun it's going to give you patches of color and you do not want that on your jean all right guys if you've watched the video to this point and you found it helpful kindly give the video a thumbs up and if you're here for the first time kindly subscribe to my youtube channel put on your post notification bell so you get notified when i put up subsequent videos until i see you in my next video bye and have a good week